Since November of 2020, COD Mobile have added over 14 mythics. And today I'm gonna use Rate and Rank every single one. Find out which is best. The first skin of this rarity that they added was none other than the Finnick Ascended. A combination of pay to win iron sights, dynamically changing visual effects, and the akimbo attachment left players mesmerized. Similarly to the buttery smooth, insanely high frame rate, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, found in this Sam Samsung S23 Ultra. Pair that processor with a cooling system that could rival the air conditioning in your home and the 5,000 milliamp hour battery, you're destined for greatness in COD Mobile. I'm insane. Whether you're gaming in sunlight or drifting off to sleep in bed, Adaptive Vision Booster has got you covered as it will change your screen's display to best fit your environment. Also, if you want to draw any of the mythics mentioned, you can do that too using the S Pen, which ejects from the bottom to sketch out your favorite skin. Tap the link at the top of the description down below to get the best phone of 2023, the Samsung S23 Ultra. Being the first mythic to ever release, the Finnick Ascended received a wide array of controversy. You either hated the fact that they added it, or you loved it because you bought it. Coincidentally, upon release, this SMG was also the best in the game. Its fast fire rate and superb base damage meant the time to kill was faster than hitting that subscribe button. The other controversial thing about this skin was the fact that it cost $300. Ooh, if you got it maxed out. And of course, that's exactly what I did. And every other mythic maxed out too. Although it stood the test of time and is actually great today, it's not the best. And there it is. So this is a respectable score that I think it deserves. We are now stepping down to a mythic I felt was lackluster at most, the Peacekeepers. This thing should honestly just be kept in a museum or in the ground with all the other ancient artifacts. The only redeemable quality about this is it's banging iron sight. Oh yeah. But every mythic gets a good iron sight and there are better ones than other blueprints of this weapon anyway. Oh yeah. I enjoy using this gun, but the visual, it's just not it. Bland, boring, and basic, this thing should have been a legendary. The final boss of the Mythic Dark Ages is none other than the AS Val Double Edge. This was just another metallic, soulless iteration of the already existing artifact skin. It looks steel, but the colors all just kind of being metal, with an addition of some very rare Bursts of blue and red, depending how many kills you have with it. It's by far the worst mythic in the entire history of COD Mobile and should be sent to raw in the depths of hell, along with the pre nerf NA45, trip mines, and season one hackers. Dude, look, he's wall banging me. Look, see, see, I told you they were hackers. I told you. This, I'll give a generous. 6.9 out of 10. It's bad. By June of 2021, Blood Mobile decided it was time to reach the renaissance period of top tier rarity blueprints, releasing the Holger Dark Frontier. This may not be my favorite, but damn was it needed. The solid change of pace was fantastic compared to the last two. Gothic vibes ruled supreme throughout, and when it first appeared on the scene, it was also the best weapon. But this is definitely one of the best guns in the game, if not the current number one option, which furthered my love for it and its beautiful sight. Yes, sir, Ski Brisket! After they strayed even further away from their borderline ace looking skins, releasing Rytek's very own Nautilus. This right here was literally a gift from the Cod Gods. It looked like a weapon the Romans would siege kingdoms with. Its elegance and craftsmanship was breathtaking, especially after you got all the combo kills and your attachments were added. W right tag. Just over the horizon came the morning star. Not only did this feature some of the most earth shattering red ever conceived in the history of COD, it did so with the default red dot iron sight. This caused a complete all out civil war in the comment section of anything Call of Duty on mobile related. However, I, as a pay to win player, was loving it. 
Call of Duty then decided to bless us back to back with another new theme being the CBR Amoeba. Feeling kind of goofy with Patrick Starr just above our mind. This right here was a valiant attempt at a mythic. Combo kills changed how it looked dramatically. And overall, I was a huge fan. Once more, the free to plays despise me for using it. Oh. Got it! Yes, Zerski. Zerski. Oh! Unfortunately, whoever runs the Activision headquarters decided it was time for a fall from grace. They'd had enough of the unique and fresh designs. So they came up with a bright idea to just copy and paste the Morning Star onto the Kilo and call it the Demon Song. Wait, hold up. Ah, you little beta! Why do you think you're so funny today, dude? He's gonna use the sniper. I know for a fact he's gonna use the sniper, bro. Hear me out. If the M Star was never released and they just came out with the Demon Song, it would have been amazing. But I didn't appreciate it because of how similar they were. It felt more like a gimmick. The coolest thing, though, was definitely the Inspect. I know you're ass somewhere here, you little beta. Is that a Frank you 14, bro, please? I didn't even find Frank once yet, bro. What do you mean, advanced? I haven't even seen him once. I'm back in it for no reason. That. See as well. Go! Go! I nicked him again, dude. <laughs> You're a beta. <laughs> <laughs> Holy okay. Then, just before they were going to splatter on the ground and ruin the title of the top blueprint in the land, aka Mythic Rarity, I popped the most spine-tingling, goosebump-giving Radiance AK-47. A fresh blast of euphoria hit my brain cells when this plonked onto my screen. I mean, just look at it. It's glorious. A perfect blend of 80s and vaporwave on an AK-47. Can you guess what the icing on the cake was? The iron sight. Free dot. Oh, you're looking for the cherry on top. The inspect. <laughs> I'm a hacker. Up until this very moment, this was the best mythic of all Time. The Odin Divine Smite came out after, and frankly, I'd rather forget that they ever actually released this. This is a mythic I don't think many people bought just simply because the gun is slightly more difficult to use. It just felt like they were throwing a bunch of stuff at the wall, with variations from past, and then squeezing them all together using a hydraulic press to create this. But it's great for some long range. If you hit your shots, it's good close range too. It had very little to be desired and compared to what came out before it, there was no reason, none whatsoever, to purchase. You're next. Woo, there it is, Odin complete. But after a quick flick of the switch blade, we made it to the Neon Legend. The Neon Legend has been a very recent addition as it came out as soon as the switch blade dropped. This had me foaming at the mouth, but only for the eight kill combo and above version, which if you have thumbs is easy to obtain every single game you use it. One thing it needs credit for is the fact it kicked off the start of the greatest era of mythics we have ever seen. Off the handy, there it is. I love this skin, I love the inspect, and I love the gun. 9.6 out of 10. But this one wasn't as great as Krieg 6's very own Ice Drake. I'm going against Ferg right now, chat. Bravo. He's fired. <laughs> Bro, he's such a beta, bro. The combination of black and blue made me feel like I was a devil to the enemies, but my teammate's savior. I think you're so funny, bro. So tough. Okay, you are tough. Oh, you pissed me off, Berg. Look at him. <laughs> he's such a dumbass, bro. Even without any combo kills, it looked spectacular. But once you added them in, it turned up a notch. If any singular person watching this right now disagrees, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but you're wrong. You simply are. Advanced UAVs. There he is. That's him, chat. You're a fucking beta. No. Berg, please, bro. Please. Berg, you're not funny. You're not funny, Berg. And I nuked Sonho. <laughs> You're such a beta fan, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
following up from this was the EM2 Eclipse Phaser. And damn, did it have a lot to live up to following that. But it did a decent job at doing so. Nothing insane. You're up next. Then you. Number three. The final form and superb sight bestowed upon my eyeballs made up for the reserved use of bright colors. It's grown on me a lot since I first used it and is now actually one of my go-tos. I just want my neck. There it is. However, my number one go-to and best mythic ever released, the best of all time, was dropped recently. Not only did this send the COD Mobile community back into a second civil war, but it caused all out anarchy on the streets of the entire gaming community. Modern Warfare 2, CSGO, Valorant, all could not believe that a mobile game had been given such a masterpiece. If he gets your first match, Chat. You may or may not be the best sniper in COD Mobile. Frag is absolutely destroying kids right now and he's playing aggressive. The DL233 Lotus Flames was an absolute work of art. Oh, beautiful kill. What the fuck did he just kill? I didn't even see that guy. How did he see that? Oh, oh my goodness, Bresky. Oh, Frag, you gotta hit those, man. It's okay, I'll take that wall bang. I'll take it. Oh, I could even kill that. That's okay, you'll take a double. Beautifully done. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And up until this point, no skin has came close to its jaw-dropping, gravity-defying, quick-scope-frying looks. Oh, 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 oh my god, Chase got freaking a ball. Easy Klappensteins. This is why he's the GOAT, Here are my official rankings for every single one. Subscribe.